A transfer, Dallas Walton wins the tip and the 2021-22 season of Wake Forest basketball. A look at the Wake Forest starting five. Inside, it's Alondis Williams getting the scoring started. The end of the season against Gonzaga, but a very solid inside-outside presence. Wide open lane to the bucket and an easy layup for the sophomore from Columbus, Ohio, Ben White. We do get a substitution. Minute 16 in, the freshman Langdon Hatton, 6'10", rookie, into the lineup for William and & Mary, and Dallas Walton has his, his first two as a D. William and Mary is going to bring that double on the big man all night, which is going to leave someone open, and this time it's Laravia for three. Covington turns it over. Five early turnovers for the Tribe, and it's Laravia! Timeout, William and Mary. And Dane's younger sister is engaged to a former Wake Forest soccer player, the great Michael LaHood, who was a first-round pick in the MLS a dozen years ago. It's a cool Wake Forest it's, connection it's, for Dane Fisher. Yeah, it's, it's great. Come watch your son play beach your alma mater. Knew you were a part of a championship team, your legacy. Basket after the timeout, Demon Deacons come back with one of their own. The freshman who played 19 ball games last year. Yet he's still a freshman. He's still a and freshman. he can still shoot. Yes, he can. Eight minutes gone. Carroll to the bucket. Nice backdoor cut, better finish. Excellent pass in time by Witt. Coach Harris on the board. Nice job of Walton playing without fouling, contesting the shot, making it very difficult to get it with a seven foot frame. Witt to the corner, Williamson hits it. Nice. Good crossway pass, but a better block. Hadim C swallows it up. Laravia ahead of the pack, two in the foul. Are the new normal, Stan? <laughs> I, 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 Cam Hill. Nice basket. Yeah, by I, I, I'm not certain. Carter Witt was finishing up his last semester of high school <laughs> and then had to miss the prom to play in the ACC tournament. Yeah. How about that? Hildreth with his third basket. He's got six. Seven footer needs to find a point guard. He gets it to Witt, who zips it to Laravia. What a pass. He really got tied up at about the top of the key. Nice back, can get it. Great ball denial from the Deeks. Williams coast to coast. This feels different. Four of 20 shooting for William and Mary. Williams had his pocket picked, and then he tips the shot, but Tyler Rice, the freshman, stays with it. Hildreth keeps it in the front court. Hildreth up high to oh. Hadim C. Oh, ho, ho. What a first half for Jake Laravia. Carter Witt missed it, but Williams is there. And the lead is 27. Idea how I got this tall. There's no one in my family that's this tall. Wasn't tall enough, though. Right there, and at the other end, Ben White lays it in. His second field goal. And also the size. In the CAA, you're not going to be able to put too, too many seven-footers out there at one time. That's nice. Alanis Williams has that shot. 79-71 in overtime against a Bowling Green team that was picked sixth in the Mid-American Conference. Cochera going back door. A lot of that's been some unforced errors, but it's been Wake Forest just trying to get it in passing lanes, being big, making it difficult for them to throw it in. And then when you turn the ball over, someone able to knock down a three. Hill drifts out. Spins and kicks. Williamson with four. Pretty good defense from Rice, but not long enough. Williamson gets by him and scores again. 0-0. Zero, zero. Let's go out and, and, and now let's execute. Be better in the second half. But again, the length is something you can't change. Walton got a piece of the first one, but then White finishes inside. I'll write that down. Yeah, see if see if that prediction comes through. Yeah. Alondis Williams ahead of the pack and the foul against Mark Few's team that went undefeated all the way to the final. On a team with William and Mary's colors, won the title. Bang! It's going to be an and one. 95 seconds into the second half, Williams, nice dish. Musius got it. 
Finally got him a basket. That was a really nice look within the offense. The gift and next Wednesday. Charleston Southern will be here, of course. Wake Forest has Western Carolina on Friday night. Alondis Williams now with 14 points. I That's like him. Hat and the rebound gets it to the freshman point guard, Tyler Rice. Nice backdoor feed. And nice. Good move. Quinn Blair lays it in. It's a wonderful thought. So what you're saying, basically, is that Cam has been around basketball all his life. Is that what you're telling me? Most of it. Oh, for three days. Yeah. I'm more impressed with Cam. Okay, well, I'm glad. Drive there, say go inside, try to score here five seconds ago. There you go. Ben White. Now with... 14 points. What he'll nail, he's got some really stuff to go and look at tape about between the next game. You know, you don't want to have the mental letdown in the second half. That's a nice basket there. You like Carroll? Yeah. Yeah. But you're right. I, I, I totally agree with you about White. He's been able to score a lot of ways. That's a nice basket there. Finally, by Covington, emphasize for him is to be a little bit better with the basketball. He had 35 assists. And 70 turnovers a season ago. Nice shot by Hildreth. So, uh, yeah, don't, for, really don't nice. forget Donna. Okay, Miss Miss Donna. But uh, that, that's going to be interesting. That's going to be a nice play. Our, our women, speaking of our women, I think we're playing there next week. I was thinking I might try to bring one of my daughters to that Wake High Point game over in High Point the day before Thanksgiving. But we get way ahead of ourselves. You, we are. We are. Williams are. with two more. He's the leading scorer tonight for the Deeks. Yeah, but they charged me double price, so. Somebody. <laughs> Catch it. That's good. Big shot. Nice. Brandon Carroll. Nice. Good finish inside. Now, if we were just looking at the second half score, this would be a half full of lead changes. Yeah. Back and forth we go. One thing about this Wake team compared to the last couple of years, nice move inside, and Hatton gets two more. Justin Gray was an assistant under Pat Kelsey at Winthrop last year. Now Justin is the head coach in Cullowick. Undefeated, 1-0, as Julian Lewis. Hard to believe, that was nine months before he passed away suddenly, August 2007. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Still to this day. He drops up in Virginia at a golf tournament. <sighs> okay. Oh, good defense okay. there. Yeah. Connor Kuchera all the way. And that brings the William & Mary bench to its feet in perhaps the biggest home game in the history of Wake Forest football. Here's Frank the steal and a stuff. Alondis Williams. Williams, 8 of 11, 20 points on the evening. Back to Williams. 22. UVA will have a little work to do. They'll be better too. But yes, yeah, you know, Duke was Duke was very impressive. Julian Lewis knocks down a three, and hey, 13 points in his Wake Forest debut. Nice. Three more. 16th ranked NC State according to the latest college football playoff rankings. Up and under, and two more points for Langdon Hatton. Thank you very much. Great job. Great to see everybody again in live and living color. Look forward to seeing you again soon.